Floor. I'm here with Barath Ram. Thank you so much for being here today with us. Thanks, Janine. Thanks so for having me. So you're involved with the Thai organization. Tell us about your involvement. Sure. So my involvement with Thai has been in really in three areas. First, as a charter member of Thai Silicon Valley chapter. Secondly, I've been a part of the Thai Angels team that has helped to due diligence, uh, look at companies and finally fund them. So I've, I've participated as an investor. Number three, I'm proud to say that I've been a part of an excellent Tycon 2011 organizing uh, team and you've seen the wonderful work that the team has put out there for the last two days and I've been helping with sponsorships. Oh, exciting. Okay, so can you dive a little deeper into some of those different uh, groups that you're in? The Thai Angels, for example, what do they do and all the things? Sure, will do. Um, as a charter member, there were three key elements that I think are important for the Thai brand going forward. The first and foremost, I think we need to attract a lot of youngsters. Um, I think we need to go out to the colleges and schools uh, and then really start teaching uh, kids, you know, what does it mean to be an entrepreneur? Teach them the value of a dollar today and how do they take the dollar and invest it to create more dollars for tomorrow. I think imparting those skills are very crucial because this, this skill is not taught in schools today. Yes, I mean, you do get to a graduate program that teaches you about entrepreneurship, but I believe that you, you can start much earlier, maybe as early as a middle school or a high school uh, program. The second thing I believe is that I think Thai needs to be more globally focused. Um, we've seen a lot of uh, emerging economies in other parts of the world besides the United States. And speaking from my own personal experience, having been associated with the internet, uh, the internet's growing, the f growing at its fastest pace in some of the other countries around the world. So I think it's really important for us to be bringing in representation from some of those countries into Thai so that we become more vibrant. To give you specific examples, we've worked extra hard as a part of the Tycon 2011 sponsorship team in bringing organizations like Advance from Australia, Infocom Investments, which is a part of, part of the uh, uh, Investment and Development Authority of Singapore. Uh, we have teams from Japan. Uh, we also had Tech BA, uh, which uh, brings entrepreneurs from Mexico. Uh, we had a team from Dominican Republic uh, and likewise, many teams from Germany and several other organizations that I've been interacting with. Um, I think these interactions are very valuable, and we hope to create bridges with some of these organizations, so that way entrepreneurs here in the U.S. have access to either markets or fellow entrepreneurs, or, or maybe uh, even higher in some of these economies. The other interesting aspect of my association with Thai has been this, this wonderful three and a half month journey ending in Thaicon 2011 as the chair of the sponsorships committee. Uh, so one of the first tasks was to build a team. And I, I'm very happy to say I was honored and proud of being associated with an excellent sponsorships team this year that worked really hard to put this program together. So today, when you look at Tycon 2011, there are 41 corporate sponsors. We have three global sponsors. We have 20 annual sponsors and a record 17 corporate sponsors who came in to support this event. Mm -hmm. uh, we worked very hard to get Visa as the uh, platinum sponsor. Uh, and likewise, some of our gold sponsors uh, also saw a lot of value in Tycon 2011. So we hope that going forward, we'll be able to go back to our sponsors. And I think this, this the very idea of having sort of started this, the Startup America Lounge, which I personally uh, worked very hard with New Media Synergy and the Startup America organization uh -huh. to put together. I'm really glad that we could make this happen because this gives an excellent avenue for all of us here at the conference to really engage and provide a measurable feedback. Now, I, I'm hoping that as a part of this process, we can take this, this dashboard that has been excellently put together by Tim Reha, this New Media Synergy team, the production team here that's been working so hard over the last two uh, days, uh, and, and then really take it back to our brand sponsors and show them how the audience and the attendees have engaged mm -hmm. during the conference. Absolutely. I think this is a really amazing experience 
for brand sponsors yeah. uh, to extract intelligence and make next year's Tycon and hopefully some of their brand marketing mm -hmm. much more useful and vibrant. Mm -hmm. Well, Bharat, thank you so much for your time. Appreciate it.